Project 64 is a well-known emulator that plays 64 games on the PC. It's pretty good, uh, but there's a feature in the emulator that not many people know of. It's basically a widescreen hack that works on most games. It doesn't just stretch the image, you actually see more of the world, and Ocarina of Time is just the game to show off this ability. You've got some pop-up on the sides of the world where trees will come into focus in the front end, but it works pretty well. The HUD is all centered and so you don't have to look to the sides of your monitors to see everything. It's just, it's very, very immersive and it makes the Zelda experience much, much better. This is the perfect example of a cutscene where Ifinity definitely shows you a lot more than you would normally have. You see things on the sides that you wouldn't ever see in 4x3 and it just makes this much, much more enjoyable. This is another great example of a cutscene that really benefits from Ifinity and Surround. It just makes the cinematic even more cinematic. But here's the drawback to playing old 4x3 games on, on a setup like this. Because you see the flames coming into existence right in front of your face and it just doesn't even seem like Ganon's moving. I'm going to go ahead and show you some gameplay. Right here, it shows that there's a centered HUD, where you don't have the HUD extending to the other monitors. They're just right where you need it to be, just like if you were playing the game originally. I thought this section right here would be a cool spot to show off where Ifinity would really shine to. The spiral in the hallway just is kind of awesome. This is what the in-game uh, pause menu looks like. Everything is rendered correctly and it's also horizontal plus. This is great as most 2D items usually get stretched in games like this. It's good to see that when there's transitions and those black lines go and squelch a screen at the top and bottom, that it happens to all the screens. So when I go and talk to Ingo over here, you're going to notice that the text is center, and that's great. That's not just the HUD, that it's also all the text boxes and things like that. If it was stretched, then the game would lose a lot of immersion. On top of that, you'd have to back up and look at all of the monitors in order to read what was going on. Now this next clip shows the ocarina animation. Now it doesn't extend fully to the other monitors because it wasn't designed for it, but it does an alright job and it doesn't really bring up the immersion that much. So 
So if you're new to the surround or ifandy land, this is one of the best games to start out with because it works pretty much perfectly and we've all played it before, but it adds so much more to the game. This has been a widescreen features of you, and if you have any questions, you can go to the widescreen gaming forum for any of your widescreen gaming needs. Until next time, this has been Sukin to Miyu.